Hey guys, it's Adi here with Monarchy Blog, and today I've got a really cool video for you guys. Today we're going to show you Instagraph, which is the first unofficial Instagram client for Windows Phone that allows you to actually publish photos to your Instagram account. And this is a huge deal for anyone who's been following the Instagram issue with Windows Phone where they haven't allowed any apps to be made and they haven't given anyone access to their APIs to let them up upload app pictures. But finally we have Instagraph which has found a way around it and it actually does upload pictures to your Instagram account. Now first of all, Instagraph does not allow you to make an Instagram account so you're going to have to have one made online. You can use your friend's iOS or Android devices but if you have an Instagram account then this is cool. So anyways, here's the main layout of the app. As you can see it says choose the image below to share. So you have a bunch of images. You can, you can also take a picture of the camera as any other app. Point is, once you take, you choose an image, okay, let's choose whatever. Here, let's just choose this cupcake. Okay, now we're you have the option to add some filters and edits down here, which are actually more comprehensive than the Instagram edits. So you have the option to enhance, which does auto fixing for backlight balance, auto, etc., etc. Just zoom out for a second, there you go. And you have some sticker options for those cool effects, you know, for if you want to goof around or something, you can just drag them up there resize them etc but we don't want this so how do we delete that I'm not sure so if we just click back it'll go away and you have the effects which is what most people care about the filters and these use the aviary filters which you know you have your the defaults you know there's actually more filters than there are on Inst not as many but they're cooler than the ones on Instagram and you might notice that the picture looks a bit low quality here but once you save the image the quality actually goes back to full size normal scale. So let's just click a cool filter and stick with it. Let's go with Vivid. Okay, so as you can see here, the edges of the of the cupcake are a bit rough, but once we click OK, just hit the check mark button, it went back to a full resolution image, so that's cool. Anyways, and then you have save. Once you save it, you're prompted to share it on Instagram, as you can see. You can add a comment, which just put yum sorry there you go yum and you hit share publish confirmation share on Instagram hit OK and it'll start publishing now what this does it'll send it to a server and it'll be queued or lined up to get uploaded currently their servers are getting hammered so it's gonna take a while as you can read that right there request successfully queued to our servers will be published on Instagram as soon as possible. You're directed to our upload history page where you can check the status of your request and it'll tell you if it's been if it's reached your server, if it's been uploaded, and if it's been published or not. So that's cool. So as you can see here, we have I have two posts up on the Qui and as I queue, I don't know how I have no idea how it's pronounced. Anyways, so as you can see, as I said, it takes some time. Estimated time one minute but it's off because our servers are down. But the point is that it works, it sends it to Instagram, and you can view it on your Instagram later through other apps such as Metrogram, for example, where, which is a good, uh, I guess, completion for Instagram apps since that doesn't allow viewing. So you can open on Metrogram, view the pictures, and upload them through Instagram. Unfortunately, Instagram is not free. It costs $2.49 currently, but, I mean, if you... If you're an Instagram user and you want Instagram on your phone, then it's probably worth it. You should check it out. And uh, that's basically it. I mean, you connect your Instagram account right when you start. And uh, nothing else really. I mean, the app does its job when the servers are up. They're under maintenance mode right now, like I said, should be up soon. Um, hopefully you guys could try it out, enjoy it. Hope you guys like it. And until we get the official Instagram, it's a pretty good alternative. And probably well worth the $249. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, let us know what you guys think about the app. Thanks, guys.